Hi, R6, how are you? Miss Marisol is here again. Okay. Um, I'm going to discuss about dividing decimal numbers by a whole number. Previously, you have learned how to multiply decimal numbers by a whole number. This time, you're going to um, apply your knowledge in multiplying decimal in multiplying and dividing decimal numbers, okay? So first lesson you have is divide decimal numbers by a whole number, at least one digit. Uh, one decimal place, and also you need to know how to solve word problems. Okay, so how we are going to divide? How we are going to divide a decimal number by a whole number? The division is performed in the same way as in the whole number. First, we first divide the two numbers and ignore the decimal point. Then place the decimal point in the quotient in the same position as in the dividend. Okay, let's have an example. We have here 6.4 divided by 8. I'm going to give you a mental um, a strategy on how to do it mentally. Okay, so if you know how to multiply decimal, decimal numbers by a whole number, this will be only the inverse. Okay, so as we said, Let's use the mental strategy in dividing decimals. Method one, what you're going to do, the first step, you're going to rewrite 6.4 divided by eight as multiplication. Remember, multiplication is the inverse of division. So we are going to rewrite and ignore the decimal point. So what is the number that when we multiply eight gives us 64? So of course it will give us eight. Then rewrite it. So you're going to rewrite 6.4 divided by eight in, in multiplication. So something times eight equals 6.4. So remember when we are multiplying, we have one decimal place here. That means to say in our answer, there's also one decimal point. Okay, so eight, we have to write it as 0 0.8. So if you are going to multiply 0 0.8 times eight, it is equal to 6.4, okay? Another method is, so you can choose which method you want to uh, use, okay? Method two, we will rewrite it as decim decimal as whole number, okay? So 64 divided by eight. Remember before when we are multiplying, when we are dividing numbers by 10, we are moving the decimal point, okay, to the left, correct? So 64 divided by eight is eight, correct? So eight divided by 10 is 0 0.8. So the answer is 6.4 divided by eight is 0 0.8. So it's up to you. Method one, rewrite it as multiplication. Method two, rewrite decimal as a whole number and divide by the quotient, the answer of this one by 10, okay? Another example, 1.2 divided by six, let's apply the method one. So rewrite it as multiplication. So a number times six equals 12, which is two, okay? So what is the answer? So we know that two times six, gives us 12, correct? So therefore, now after that, you're going to rewrite it again in multiplication, putting back the decimal, okay? So we know that we have one decimal place, therefore in our answer, there should be also a decimal number. So the answer is 0 0.2, okay? Let's try another, another example. For example, I have 4.8 divided by six. What did we say? We are going to write this one. <clears throat> Let 
rewrite it in multiplication. So something times six equals 48. So what is the pair of six to give us 48? Yes, very good, it's eight. Now we will write it as Let's return back the decimal point. Okay. So since we have one decimal place, therefore we are going to write also because this is a whole number. Make sure that your answer, one of the pair, is a decimal number. So 0 0.8. Okay. This is very easy. Next example again. Okay. So 7.2. Divide nine. Now again, you are going to write it as multiplication and ignoring the decimal point. <clears throat> so what is the pair of nine equals 72? Again, it's eight, okay? So return back the decimal point. So we need to have a decimal point also with the pair. So 0 0.8. Okay, very easy. Now, one more example. For example, I have 36, I 3.6 divided by 9. What is the answer? So again, let's write it in multiplication, ignoring our decimal, okay? So, and then again, we are going to put back the decimal point, okay? So what's the pair of nine to give us 36? Yes, it's four. Now, since we have one decimal there, the pair should also be one decimal point, 0 0.4. So 3.6 divided by four is 0 0.4. Okay, I hope you understand and how uh, to divide mentally without even working it and using the mental strategy in rewriting the question in multiplication. Okay. Now, it's your turn. Would you mind to answer this by yourself? You can pause your video and answer. Okay, check your answer. Let's see the answer now. Okay, what is 3.6 divided by four? We know that four times what equals 36. It's nine. Therefore, since we have one there, so the answer is 0 0.9. Okay. What is the number when we multiply four, it will be equals 48? Yes, it's 12. So we have one decimal there. So the answer is 1.2. Okay. Next, seven times what? equals 49, correct, it's seven. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.7, okay? Next, the last one, oh, sorry. Times 12 equals 72, six. So therefore, 7.2 divided by 12 is 0.2. Okay, year six, I hope you understand how to do it, how to divide decimal number by a whole number um, linking to multiplication, multiplying decimals, multiplying decimals. Okay. You can work on student book page 62, question one, 
there is in your textbook, there is a division and multiplication. If you want to answer um, only the division, then you can do. Or if you want to do even the multiplication, much better. So calculate it mentally. Even without working, you can write it. Example, I'm going to give you uh, some of the questions. So 4.8 divided by 6, which is 6 times something, equals 48. So this will be 0 0.8, correct? 4.2 divided by 7 or 42 divided by 7. 7 times 6 is 42. So it will be 0 0.6, OK? 5.4 divided by 9, which is 54 divided by 9. Therefore, it will be 0 0.6 again. OK, so you can do this alone. You can um, practice and you can submit it to me. All OK, year six, I hope you understood. Uh, this one in your textbook, it will be uh, 8. OK, so I will answer one more. 7.2 divided by 8, which is 72. OK, 72, ignoring the decimal point. So 72 divided by 8, it will be 9, which is 0 0.9. Okay, please try to memorize your multiplication so that it will be easier for you to do all this work, okay? Because when you are multiplying multiplication, memorizing multiplication, it will help you a lot of things in math. Okay. Okay, that's all for now, year six. Um, no, I hope you understood how to divide decimals by a whole number.